What's up YouTube? Mimi here coming at you from my channel Bunny Birdie Gator and here today to share with you some cool art supplies. So the first thing I'm going to share with you today are these Chocola Platinum Series markers and these are like chalkboard markers. Let me read some info to you guys. So these are child safe, water-based, non-toxic, it washes off from clothes which is very important, low odor, acid free, xylene free, quick dry, and long lasting. And these are jumbo, you guys. Now, they have a 15 millimeter jumbo tip. These can be used on non-porous surfaces like windows, whiteboards, plastics, mirrors, LED boards, and chalkboards. And something like this is really awesome for me and my family because we homeschool and I totally make use of our French doors. I use those as big giant like chalkboards. In addition, we have two mounted whiteboards that I like to use during school. So I have something that is similar to this from Uli and I love those. So this will be my second time trying a product like this. I'm really excited to try these out because there are a lot of colors that I like. I really like the pink and I'm hoping the white will be a good color as well. Um, these just look really fun and these are really heavy you guys and then I have this pack here and these are premium wet wipe markers so there's 16 in the box we have 10 chalk pens and six metallic markers and no this video is not sponsored you guys the company uh, Chocola did send these to me and asked if I'd be interested in showing them and I homeschool and I really need products like this and I use products like this every day so I was like yeah sure I'll show them on my channel and I'll try them out again these are also child safe water based non toxic they wash off from clothes which my gator likes to use these a lot for school and he He's always like getting them on his clothes, um, the ones we have from Uli, and they wipe right off really easy. It washes off or wipes off of skin or the table or whatever. It says they're low odor, acid free, xylene free, quick dry, and long lasting. Now these have a 5.5 millimeter bullet tip. I'm really excited to try out the metallic ones. So the packaging here is so cute, you guys. It has little Eiffel Tower. Um, graphics, ooh la la, and butterflies, and French bread, and here we can see all the colors down the side of the chalk markers, and then the metallic markers here. We're going to try these out. We might not try out every single color, but I'm going to try out a few. I brought in a jumbo whiteboard. Hopefully I'm not blinding you guys, but I wanted to have one that had a lot of space so we could try a lot of different colors out. So first let's go ahead and try these. Shake well with the cap on for 30 seconds and then remove the cap and then write with your marker. Push down the pen if you need extra ink. Now if we want to erase these we have to use a wet cloth or Windex. So let's go ahead and start with these. I might go ahead and speed this part up for you guys. Of course we have to start with pink. And I think we probably need to shake for the full 30 seconds. Wow, you guys, look at that tip. So jumbo, so big. I can't wait to try this out. I gotta press down, you guys. Sorry, I'm not showing you the pressing down part. I'm starting to saturate the, the tip. I think I need to shake it some more. Okay, so I'm pressing down. And it's, it's starting, you guys. You see that? Maybe it's on this side. Okay, starting to bleed into the tip. This is a really jumbo tip, so we're going to have to give it a second to soak down into the tip of the pen. As you guys can see, we're getting there. See that? Okay, I'm starting to get color, you guys. I'm starting to get a little bit of color right here. I just got to press down a little bit longer. I think I'm ready. Okay, so here is pink. Wow, that is really really bright that's pink okay you guys I had to do a memory and battery change but let's get back to the whiteboard here so let me try to write it now that it's a little more saturated let me write I love pink I still have a couple spots where it's not quite saturated on the side. I think I might need to press down a little bit longer still. It writes really, really wide. I mean, 
once it's filled up it could write really wide let's go ahead and try out some other colors as well I feel like I needed to press down a little bit longer but so far like I'm loving the color of this I'm liking how big these are I think these are gonna be a lot of fun for my youngest next let's go ahead and try purple and blue Here we have the purple and here we have the blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the board here, the whiteboard on my lap and I'm gonna press down. I'm pressing down with both pens right now. And again, um, it's gonna take a minute, but I see the purple already feeding into the tip. You guys see that? And I'm not seeing anything on the blue yet. Oh, it's starting, the blue's starting too. So I just wanna make sure I hold these here long enough this time because with the pink, I started to write and then I was having um, battery and memory card issues pop up, so I stopped, but I think that you just really have to hold the tip down in the press down position for a while because these are jumbo, you guys. I mean, super jumbo. And here's the purple. It's filling up on the front and the back, but not so much on the sides yet. And you guys, it's going to be a beautiful neon purple. I, I see it on the board. It's, oh, it's going to be so pretty. Let me just show you guys really quick the progress. The blue and the purple, but on the sides, it's not quite there yet. So let me hold it. So let me hold it down a little bit longer. This purple is gorgeous. So gorgeous. I'm just going to put the blue down like this on the cap and I'm going to show you the purple because I can't wait any longer. It's so pretty. Look at this purple, you guys. Can you see how pretty that is? That is so, so pretty. Look at that purple. So you could write skinny or you can write, you know, the wide way. So pretty. My kids are so noisy in the background, you guys. Look at that beautiful purple. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty, you guys. That is so brilliant. Let's go ahead and try out the blue now. You guys, this blue is so creamy and pretty. It's kind of like a cream-based blue. It is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Look at the blue, you guys. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. Look at that. Oh. These are really nice, you guys. Look at that blue. Sorry for the glare, if there's any glare. So again, those are the Chocola Platinum Series. Now these, you guys, have 28 grams of ink in each pen. Again, a jumbo tip. You can use them on your whiteboards, your mirrors, your plastics, your chalkboards, your LED boards and windows. I'll mostly be using these on whiteboards and windows and maybe occasionally here and there on some glass or plastic or whatever. But I'm really pleased you guys. Again, we have the messy, my messy writing up here as we were waiting for the pen to fill up the beautiful purple and the blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it clean. Doesn't that look so pretty you guys as I'm wiping it clean? It's like very ombre and beautiful. So here is my whiteboard once again, and all I used was a wet cloth with just some water. And next we have this set, and again, this is also liquid chalk. I'll be sure to link all the information down below in the description box. If you guys would like to pick up this set for yourself or the other set, you can find these on Amazon. Here's this set. This is what it looks like coming out of the box. Again, we have 10 chalk markers. And we have six metallic markers. So these are all the chalk markers. I think I want to start with the metallic markers. And the metallic markers are much smaller. And they're in their own little box. Again, with the very cute French um, graphics. The little bicycles, the hot air balloons. A cute little matte package. These also need to be shaken for... 30 seconds prior to using and you need to press the tip down as well for another 30 seconds. So the colors that we have in this metallic set are silver, pink, 
gold, red, blue, and green. And this is the size that they are. Yeah, nice. You know what? These look like they're already filled with color. Let me see, you guys. Now, again, my board is a little wet. Mm, I think I'm going to need to dry my board, you guys. I think I was wrong about the metallic pens. I don't think we have to shake those after all. They're already ready to go. So I'm just going ahead and drying my whiteboard off here with a cloth baby diaper. Those work so great for everything, dusting, cleaning. Okay, so I had a little bit of residue here left from my, my rinse off from the purple mostly. Okay, so let's try out some of these metallics. So first we have, oh, that's pretty, you guys. We have silver, silver, and let's try the pink, of course. Oh my gosh, so bright. I really love this. Bright pink. Wow, that is really pretty, you guys. And the gold has a real yellowish uh, green tone to it. Gold, there's gold. Let's do green up here. Ooh, and the green has a really pretty, um, like, emerald shine to it. Green. Here's the green. The pink has a slight metallic to it. It's really brilliant more than anything. So far, I would say the silver and the green have the most metallic to them. Ooh, this is pretty. Red. It's like a cherry apple red. It's really, really brilliant, like a neon red almost. Blue is really pretty too. Oh man, the blue is really nice. And then we have the regular chalk markers. Now I think we have to shake these ones, yeah. Shake well with cap on and upright and then remove the cap and then press the tip to and fro multiple times. See, I wasn't doing that with the other ones, pressing the tip to and fro. I was just pressing it down and leaving it pressed down. As you guys can see, I didn't shake them yet so the tip is completely uh, dry and white. How about we do two at a time, maybe two or three. Let's do a yellow and let's do an orange. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and try. I'm gonna try the method now, you guys. You know, pushing in and letting it up and, you know, to and fro, right? To and fro, time for some to and fro. Sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing at the moment, but truly I'm just pushing the pen down and then I'm letting it up. Pushing it down and letting it up. And right away, yellow is the first to produce a color and it is bright and it's really nice. Okay, so yellow's good to go. Pink is now good to go. I'm still working on orange. Orange is starting to fill up and it's almost there, you guys. You can hear me pressing on the whiteboard with the tip of the pen and orange is now ready to go. Okay, you guys, so let me show you what orange looks like. I think I might need to press orange down a little bit more because it's looking a little bit streaky. You guys see that? It's looking a little streaky. I probably could have pushed it down a little bit more. Orange. I think the longer you shake them and the longer you press them up and down, then you're gonna get a more consistent flow the first time you try it. So there's orange and it's really bright, you guys. Really nice, bright, brilliant color. I can't wait to use these in school, you guys. These are. These are gonna be so much fun. And then we have pink, and then there's the bright pink. You guys see that? And again, it's neon pink. It really reminds me of the other set. It looks like pretty much identical to the other pink. Actually, let's try the other pink out and just compare and see if it truly is the same color. Here's the other pink, the big pink. Let's try it right here. Okay, you guys see that? This one, I mean, is more ink, more is coming out, but I would say the color is definitely identical. And last but not least, you guys, let's go ahead and try out yellow. I kind of started writing right here. Yellow, yeah, yellow's nice. 
It's very brilliant and pretty. I'll hold these up closer to the camera so you guys can get a better look. So there's orange, there's yellow, and there's pink. I, I really like these, you guys. I love all the colors. The metallics are a lot of fun. I really love the jumbo ones. Um, they really put out a lot of product. This other set here, this set right here is great, you guys. I'm not going to try out all the colors, but I'm really loving these. So again, you guys, these are all by Chocola. You can find them on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description. So if you guys like this review, if you guys like this sort of video and you wanna see, you know, supplies, office supplies, stationary supplies, homeschool supplies, coloring supplies, just let me know by hitting the thumbs up button if you wanna see more reviews like this. And if you guys have anything to share with me, please go ahead and put it down below in the comments. And if you haven't yet, hit that little button to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Well, all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.